Well, welcome to this value med presentation of the Easy Life Hemoglobin Blood Meter System. This is the box pack that you will be sent if you order this from the Value Med websites or our other outlets. It contains a digital meter, the batteries, a starter pack of test strips, a lancing device and some lancets, and the batteries for the meter. So everything you need to get the meter up and running. So let's show you the setup of the meter. Here's the actual digital meter and the two AAA batteries which are supplied with it. Opening the battery port on the side of the meter, just while we're here, I'm going to show you inside there, hidden, is a little toggle switch. Should be default set over to the left-hand aspect. That will mean the meter will display in grams per deciliter. But if you'd like the meter to display in millimoles per litre, then with a little screwdriver or pen, just toggle that switch over to the right-hand aspect. Let's put the batteries in and start the setup of this meter because it's very simple. What you need to do is set the time and date. So both batteries in following the direction guides in the base of the battery compartment. And you'll see it default flashing on a year. Now to select the correct year, use the S button to increase it upwards to the current year. And when you've got the correct year flashing, press the M button. You'll now default to the month and we're going all the way around to January. M again for correct and the day we're now on the 18th of January so I'm going to set that 18 and correct M again. Now you're on to the hour. Now it's a 24 hour clock so just by holding the S down you can rotate round to the correct hour which is 2 and the minutes 10 past 2. There we go and press the M. Now, when you're happy that they're all correct, even though they're still flashing, just leave it. Don't press any more buttons and in 10 seconds it will power down and retain all that year, date and time memory, which can then be recorded in the built-in memory for the tests that you perform with this meter. Now, when you intend to do your first haemoglobin test, insert the code chip that is supplied with the test strips into the top of the meter. Then take one of the test strips that you're about to use, a clean unused test strip, and insert it into the strip port on the front top of the meter. The code will be displayed, followed shortly by the flashing blood droplet indicating that the meter is waiting for you to perform the test. Now take the lancing device Insert a clean fresh lance into the top and remove the plastic cap by twisting it and then reattach the rotating cap of the lancing device. Rotate the very tip of the lancing device to set a predetermined depth level on this particular auto lancer. It's between one shallow and five deep. When you're starting to test, we recommend using a deep lance initially until you find out just how well you bleed because a good sample collection is key to getting accurate haemoglobin results. When you're ready to test, always lance on the side of the finger of the distal phalanx, never the flat pulp as this tends to be quite fibrous. Place the lancing device firmly against the side of the finger and release the trigger. This should result in a blood sample or droplet forming. Wipe the first droplet away using a tissue and allow the second droplet to form naturally. If this does not occur, you've not lanced deeply enough. Do not try or attempt to squeeze the finger as this will result in an inaccurate reading. Place the sample using the finger onto the side of the test strip and you'll see almost immediately capillary action pulls the sample into the device and it starts to read. This gives an instant result within three to four seconds my haemoglobin right now is 15.1 grams per deciliter. You'll see that the scale is displayed with each reading. This is how to successfully test for haemoglobin. The lancing technique is absolutely critical. Wiping the first droplet of blood away is very essential and allowing the second droplet to form naturally and applying it to the correct area on the test strip are all key to getting accurate and reliable results with this meter. Thanks for watching.